Visions RC. I put it on a race for thirty thousand dollars. Now I think this is a pretty big deal. It's a game changer. I think it's a big deal for three main reasons. The first one, obviously, is the money. You've got thirty grand sitting there, going out to the drivers. Tris, what are your thoughts? Hundred um, percent. What makes a big race? Big drivers, and the big drivers only want to attend the best of the best, and that's whether it's for prestige. I want it for the prestige. <laughs> or, or whether it's money on the line. Um, again, everyone everyone thinks of a world championship when it comes for RC as the biggest accolade. But if these types of events keep, um, you know, keep growing and growing, they'll become on a par because the prestige will come with them. Um, you know, money drives competition, and the best of the best. The best of the best. They're always going to want to attend where there's the biggest prizes available. Absolutely, couldn't agree more. We're going to get on to some of those drivers in a bit. It's going to cover eighth nitro. 8th e-buggy, and it's been a collaboration by lots of partners. A-Main are involved, Live RC are involved, HPI are involved. Last year it had all the big names as well. Mayfield, Wiggins, Lutz, Tessman, the list went on. And it was a really good race to watch. And the key thing about it is, is the race format was different. 100%, I think the formats, new formats, we need to try them out in RC. Um, I think it's a topic we all talk about is we do too much qualifying and not enough racing. Well trying these different formats this is the only way you're gonna ultimately maybe drive some change um by getting these different ideas and yeah a number of laps it's something that everybody can relate to in different forms of motorsport whether it's formula one um motor gp all of the other forms of motorsport is that way Num set number of laps race to the finish line wherever you've qualified you've qualified you know a silver state or a, or a pmb psycho nitro blast they've been going for many 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 years you know the race time promotions events etc they are you know they've been around for a long time this is a brand new race the drivers first one for me is someone who i just think is just like the nicest guy i've got a couple of wins under his belt what are your thoughts yeah, let's go back to kyosho i mean kyosho he's always a good ape scale platform i think he's just found a good home and he's comfortable with it some of his um onboard footage that he's been recording of late over the last couple of years. Oh, it's phenomenal. And again, being the nice guy, he's done a video about how he does it, giving everybody a tutorial. Who's next? Jared Tebow. Jared's obviously announced that this year is going to be his last year as a professional RC racer. Two times world champion. Do you think it's going to be a sad day when he finally steps down from the pro circuit? I think so. I think, you know, he's been around so long and you've got that. Yeah, I have to say when, when it was announced he was joining Mayako. I thought that was a really, really good signing for the, you know, for the year. And uh, be interesting to see where Mayako goes with the deals. I guess silly season will be on us soon enough, and we'll we'll find out what's going on. Last year's winner, Jared Wiggins, complete with with comedy oversized check, which I think is fantastic. And I think we ought to see more of these at races because I just think they're fantastic. He's part of the new generation. Next on the list. Joe Bornholz. He's one of the most consistent guys, isn't he? He, he as a pro, that that's got to be the first, uh, you know, your first target. Make sure you win with a chance, and that's what he does. He always makes sure he's in with a chance. In terms of can he win it, he's up against some tough competition, uh, and like you say, some some good results this year with the S Works. Hardly needs much introduction, but it's Dakota. For oh, Mr. Fend. You know, how long is that list of, of results going to be for him this year? He's on an absolute tear. He's he's on fire. <laughs> Damn, he's on fire! There's no other way of putting it. Everything he's entering, he's winning or, put, or getting a podium, most of the time getting a win. Um, everybody's always seen that Dakota's got some unbelievable pace without a shadow of a doubt. And like you say, you have to put him as the favourite. I'm sure he'll be giving it everything to, to take that $5,000 on. Spencer Rivkin, two-time world champion, 10th. Some good results at Silver State and Royal Nationals. He has been pushing Ben every now and again this year, so I think he's in, I think he's in with a good chance. 100%. If you look at the Royal Nationals, he he, he, he was right up there. Uh, you know, in qualifying come, comes together. You know, qualifying qualifies as well and drives as well as it has been. Um, and the game makes the right choices, tyre-wise, etc. In the final, there's absolutely no reason why Spencer can't take the money and take the prize home. I think it's one of your favourites, and I will just put a public warning out to everybody to maybe turn the volume down when you talk about Mayfield. What are your thoughts on him for 2023, and particularly for this race? In my opinion, he he is one of he's he's in the top two or three off-road drivers in the world, without without a doubt. I think for Ryan this year, he's obviously got a little bit more of an interesting year. He was absolutely flying with the Mugen last year, and I wouldn't be surprised. I really wouldn't be surprised if he finds his groove. 
So that was the driver's list of who we know at this point in time on who's going to be racing at Visions RC. Let us know in the comments down below who you think is going to be the winner and we'll see where we are after the race. The third of the three reasons I think this is the biggest race of the year is the TV. Hey, I'm on TV! I'm on TV! This race is going on TV as its own individual programme. The big thing about this is this is getting its own individual programme. So that, to me, means it's a success. This was done last year, and this is game-changing for RC. If we can get this on onto television like the way they're doing, you've got several things going on. It means, one, they ran it last year, and they're repeating it. That means, they made, that means it's a commercial venture. It made money. It sold advertising space. People watched it. There was an appetite for it. Give us a like. Give us a subscribe. Click that bell icon, and we'll see you in the next one.